What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Monks. She is currently the item shop. She is a rare outfit. She is part of the Sockum set. She does come with a bag green peel pack. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So, Monks. She is basically a sock monkey, and we really haven't seen any stuffed animals being incorporated into the game, so I really do like that about her. She's very unique of a character. She actually does come with a backlink, and the skin itself is not really that pricey, so it's all really good. Does it match the rarity? I'm gonna say it does, just cause it's a very cool skin. Even though her hands are a little bit too bulky for my liking, it's still, you can see all the stitches, all the details in the skin, and then it does come with a pretty funny and hilarious backlink, which is the peel pack, which is basically just a banana, and if you do own Pili, I highly suggest you guys buying it for that reason. So what's my final rating on Monks? I'm gonna have to give Monks an 8 out of 10. I really do like the creativity behind this skin. I do like the details on it, the stitching, and everything about her. The back lane itself is very cool and it's very funny, so I really do appreciate that. And overall, the whole combination of the back lane and the skin is very nice touch. So without further ado guys, let's get these combos started. For the first combination with Monks, I am pairing her up with the Enduring Cape. I really do like the Enduring Cape, even though the cape itself does go through the tail, it's still not very intrusive. When you're in the battlefield, the cape actually looks amazing. It does match the top head, his mouth, and then her arms, and also her feet is the same combination of it, and it just looks really cool. For the harvesting tool, I'm going with the Spurred Swinger. The Spurred Swinger is very cool, I do like it. It does have that bandages on it that really complement the gloves and the back knee itself. And then it has that red rod that goes across it that really complements the hair and the scarf. For the glider, I'm going with the Rickety Runner. The Rickety Runner does have a little cute penguin on top of it, but that's not the main reason why I'm using it. The penguin itself does have the same color scheme as the skin, and then the whole glider actually complements the back knee really well. For the Contra, I'm going with the Spectral Essence. A very simplistic Contra, but Monks is actually a very simplistic skin. It's really not that flashy. It looks really cool and it just looks amazing. And for the wrap, I'm going with the Dreamy. The Dreamy is a light blue color scheme that really does match the Monks. The only reason why it doesn't look similar to it is because the stitches of Monks. And then it does have that gold animation on it that looks really cool and clean. I really do like it. It just fits the whole stuffed animal theme. So enjoy the combo. For my second combination, I am pairing up Monks with the banana bag. The main reason why I am pairing her up with the banana bag is for the simple fact it does have three bananas in the dead center of the backpack. She is a monkey after all, so actually something she would eat. And then the color scheme of the backpack does match the gloves, the boots, and the top of her head. So it goes really nice. For the Harvin tool, I'm going with the Ripe Reapers with the Peely edit style. The Ripe Reaper is basically a banana peel wrapped around them. They are yellow and they do have the decaying colors to it. That looks really cool. It is a banana color after all, so it goes really good with the back. For the glider, I'm going with the palm leaves. Where the bananas actually grow from? Palm leaves, of course. So I'm using the palm leaf glider. It is all green and brown. The brown actually matches the Harvin tool and the back thing itself. And the green just stands out, so it makes it look really cool. For the Contra, I'm going with the bananas. Again, it's self-explanatory, it is a monkey after all, so having bananas come in as you're descending to the battlefield actually makes sense. And for the wrap, I'm going with the Call Sign Hornet. The Call Sign Hornet is yellow and black, it looks very cool. It does match the color scheme of a banana, so it looks really cool. So enjoy the combo. For the last combination, I'm pairing up the monks with the Nana Cape. The Nana Cape is self-explanatory. It is a monkey. It is a banana peel. So using it as a cape actually makes sense. It does have the light blue that really complements the dark blue it does have. And overall, it looks very cool. For the harvesting tool, I'm going with the Lucky. The Lucky harvesting tool is actually one of my favorite. It's basically just a default harvesting tool, 
but it actually has a happy face on top. It is yellow, so it matches really good with the background. For the glider, I'm going with the cruiser. The cruiser is a simplistic glider. It does have pedazos in the side of it. They are yellow, and then the top of it is yellow, so it really matches the hardening tool and the background. Since this is a meme skin, I'm gonna go with the contra, the TP. The TP is basically just toilet rolls from hanging from both the feet and the hands. As you're listening to the battlefield, you just leave the trail of TP. It looks really cool and it's pretty funny. And for the wrap, I'm going with the ripe. The ripe is basically just like the banana peel. It's just a banana skin. It does ripe as you're using it, so it looks very cool. I do like it. And the further you make it alive, the darker it gets. So enjoy the combo. Those are the three combinations I've found so far for mugs. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos here for cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is Enigma Kid, all caps, two Ds, all together. Each time you guys use my code in either the item shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it. And in this month, I am actually going to be donating about 80% of the revenue I do make from support creator and donating to the wildfires that are happening in Australia. So every cent does count. You don't have to support me, but just support or donate anything you can to the wildfire they are having in Australia. They really do need it. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.